how to boot your asus a450j model laptop or how to boot uh, your asus laptop using bootable pen drive i have already uploaded a video related with how to boot your asus laptop previously on my youtube channel but after uploading that video on my youtube channel many of my subscribers are asking me to make more videos on this topic that's why i'm making this video to help you you will learn to boot your asus laptop with a uh, bootable pen drive after watching this video you will learn to boot your asus laptop after watching this video you will learn to create a bootable pen drive after watching this video that's why you have to watch this video until the last and you will learn to create a bootable pen drive and you will learn to boot your asus laptop after watching this video hoping that you will watch this video until the last but if you didn't watch this video you will not be able to boot your asus laptop using bootable uh, usb pen drive that's why you have to watch this video until the last to learn to boot your asus laptop using a bootable pen drive after watching this video you don't have to watch any video to boot your asus laptop that's why please watch this video on the last hello everyone welcome back to in my youtube channel it's me the first try if you are watching this video first time don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press in the bell icon also I will make a technology related video on this YouTube channel that's why if you also learn to uh, technology related uh, contents then uh, you are in the right YouTube channel that's why you have to subscribe my YouTube channel and please share this video to among the people who love technology and so without any late let's begin our tutorial <music> Basically, there may be different kind of BIOS settings inside your Asus laptop. Uh, so that's why many of my subscribers are getting confusion on this topic. There may be a new type of BIOS setting like this. Uh, there may be a old type of BIOS setting like this. But in this time, I'm using this kind of BIOS setting. And if you are, uh, if you have also this kind of BIOS setting, you can watch this video until the last. And it will be very helpful to boot your Asus laptop. So without any delay, let's move on to our computer screen. So guys, first of all, we need to uh, make a bootable uh, pen drive uh, to boot our Asus laptop or Asus computer. So first of all, you need a software that is called Rufus. So in this time, I'm using the Rufus 3.6. So right click and you need to click in the run as administrator to boot your Asus laptop so just click in the yes now after this now you can see here there is a uh, uh, there is a one drive uh, sorry one usb is showing inside my computer screen and just you have to select a boot section from here uh, okay so just wait for a moment yeah from here and just uh, you, you can choose uh, bootable cd from here so in this time i'm using the windows 10 okay so i think i need to use the windows 10 which one yeah maybe this one not the 64 gb i think i need to use this one so after this just click in the open and after this uh, you have to choose uh, the standard windows installation and you can choose the gpt and after this just uh, you can choose the uefi no csm uh, option or if you have a uh, if you have a bios or uefi csm then in that time you have to choose the mbr and for the non bios you can choose the uefi but in this time i'm using the mbr and after this just give a name so i'm just giving the windows 10 and just click in the start now click in the ok now my bootable uh, pen drive is going to be ready so it will take little bit time to make a bootable pen drive 
so if you want also this software so just check the description i am giving you a download link in the video description of the rufus software also okay and now you can see here it's writing everything else so guys now my bootable pen drive is ready so now i'm going to put my asus laptop using this bootable pen drive so guys after uh, making a bootable pen drive now it's time to boot our asus laptop so without any late let's go to boot our asus laptop so guys now i'm going to boot uh, the asus uh, a501 okay just wait for a moment now you can see here i'm going to boot this laptop okay asus a50j sorry so now i'm going to uh, put this laptop so first of all i'm going to insert this bootable pen drive uh, so first of all so for this one i'm just going to insert this one in this side okay so now now after this i am just going to turn on this one from here okay so after this just press the f2 button just press f2 okay so now you can see here this is the bio setting okay so after this just go to in the advanced boot and now you can see here there is a different kind of option available the boot option one is also uh, the usb dix 2.0 and the csm uh, csm option should be the enable okay and the boot of uh, for the boot option it's okay and hichachi uh, this is my hard drive uh, should be in the boot option number two okay and for the uh, bootable pen drive you have to choose this one in the option number one okay so after this just go to inside the shape and uh, exit and press enter and just you have to save this one now my uh, computer again restarting so now my it's telling me that press any key so I am just pressing my uh, enter button so now you can see my windows 10 is starting so it will take little bit time so just wait for a moment so now after this just choose the language english and the time and currency format also should be in the english and the keyboard you will type yes and i'm just clicking in the next okay after this just click in the install now so after this just click in the i accept all the license and terms and click in the next after this just click in the custom and install only so after this now you can see there is a two drive available inside my computer so the first one is the 163.5 gb so i think this is the c drive so make it uh, format and just click in the ok it's telling that we couldn't format the selection person uh, ok so you can delete this one delete and press the ok button and now after this just click in the new and click in the apply ok it's uh, again telling me that we couldn't create a new partition ok new apply ok i think there is some error inside my pc so that's why it's not working so i think there is some error so that's why i'm going to delete the second uh, partition also so clicking the ok so now i'm going to create another uh, partition so i think the partition should be ok and after this i'm just clicking in the apply ok So now it's creating a new partition okay so after this again i'm going to here and just clicking in the new and again clicking in the apply and it's creating another partition so after this i'm just choosing this one okay and after this just click in the next 
and now my windows uh, file is going to be installed okay now you can see here so everything is going smoothly now uh, but it will take a little bit time everything is going to be finished and windows need to restart to continue telling you like that so it will take a little bit time to restart so it's again starting there are different kind of tips and tricks available to boot your asus laptop you can boot your asus laptop using the uh, bootable cd dvd also or you can boot your asus laptop using the lan also different kind of methods available inside the market but today we learn to boot your our asus laptop using our bootable pen drive if you have still any kind of confusion let me know in the comment sections if you have any kind of suggestion also let me know in the comment sections uh, and I'll read your all the comments and if you have any kind of confusion I'll make a separate video on that topic also if you get some knowledge or if you learn something from this video please give me a like it will give me some motivation to make more videos on this YouTube channel and please share this video to among the people who are trying to boot their Asus laptop using bootable pen drive and I'll come back with another new video until that goodbye see you again